Hey guys, Insomnia here with some more AFK Arena. Today we are back with the Mauler team. We are on 20-8. We're going to go ahead and get into using all of our stones as we always do. Go ahead and do some summons. Hopefully get some heroes to push this team, which looks like we got a copy of Thane and it looked like Athalia. It is Athalia. Very, very cool to pull a Celestial out of an Elite Soul Stone. So let's go ahead and do the rest of these and then we'll get right into the summons. So I'm hoping on this we can not only get some signature items up, get some heroes up, and there we do have an Elite Plus copy of Athalia. I believe that is enough to, I believe I have two Elite Plus copies of her. But this one we do have quite a few faction scrolls, which we got from completing the last uh, campaign stage. I don't believe these this set was from the Voyage, but always check here. We're still looking for Skarath. I believe I have one sole copy of him. That I have ever seen. First Mauler pulled just some fodder, which is good. We do need quite a bit of fodder, but pulling one or two elites out of here would be awesome. And unfortunately, just some more fodder cards. So 20 more cards down, but we do get our emblems there, which is very, very nice. Here we'll go ahead and do our companion points, which we get an elite from the companion. Hopefully, a oh, copy of Scrag. Very, very nice. I love when we pull the Mauler cards, especially on the Mauler account, but Scrag is super powerful if you've seen him in any of the campaign videos that I've been doing. So let's get into our regular scrolls here. And there we have another Elite. And it is Copy of Lucius. Okay. Light Barrier team will definitely like that when it comes to the tower. A little bit more fodder. Feeling like we're not going to get too lucky on these pulls. A little bit more. Not even a mauler. Last two pulls were not even a mauler. All right, another elite. Let's hope for a mauler. Copy of Gwen. So it seems like as the uh, progression continues, light bears are where they're pushing all the teams. <clears throat> I think across all the faction teams, I've gotten probably more light bear heroes than any other faction. And right there, we have Gwyneth and Lucius, even though we're not using them. We do get a co double copy of Golis there, so we can get him to Elite Plus, which he will be fodder. Got a couple more summons here, and we do have a card on the table, so hopefully we can pull. And we got, oh, double, double Elite. Athalia again. All right, very, very cool. I s wish I could pull Athalia on my main account ever, or Taylene ever, but unfortunately I haven't had that kind of luck. So again, just a little more, one more card, a couple more emblems. So let's go ahead and use our card that's on the table. Hopefully we can pick up a couple copies of Scrath, but Entendra, that is a fodder hero. <laughs> I know a lot of people use her. Um, used her earlier with the team. So let's see, we do have enough for an elite stone here. When I used her earlier with the team, always died. Um, read the reuse, talked to guild mates, looked on Discord, uh, talked to a lot of people there. And we get a copy of Kaz. Um, her performance late to end game drops off pretty hard. So as much as I like her being one of the newer heroes, a lot of people said don't invest in her, especially don't over invest in her. So looking here, we do have the double copies of Kasos, which we have to save Virk, we have to save Warwick. So just like the other accounts, we don't have anyone to progress in this account. So it's just going to sit waiting for more fodder. If we get a couple more copies, we need one more Scrag to get him up. We have we need one more Sophia to get her up. Nemesu, the same. And then just some Legendary plus fodder. And we'll be able to, well, we're still going to need Warwick and Vert copies. So let's go ahead and check out the heroes themselves. And since I've been doing this event, I've been pulling all red chests, just like we talked about. So trying to get these signature items up even higher, which that takes 24. Fortunately, we don't have enough to go to 25. Scrag, we're going to go ahead and level him up. So super, super powerful. As your heroes get closer to 240, as you can see, defense, attack, and health goes higher and higher and higher, faster and faster and faster as you level up. Signature item at 17 now, taking it to 18 which is awesome, 20.99 or 20.9%. With him, we're, we're stopping at 20, signature item 20, but we did unlock 
should be able to unlock level 10 Nimitsu, which is very, very powerful. Um, that gives his second totem. So when we start the battle, he sends a defensive totem up between the tanks. He sets a rejuvenation totem right in the middle of your five hero formation, which is awesome. Oh, I wish I saved one more for his Shadow Stinger, but we'll get him up soon. So let's go ahead and get into the campaign. The team is completely ready. We're on 20-8. This was the last boss stage that we went through. And I like the team. We just have to get Warwick there. Um, if Warwick can't hold the front line, he just gets absolutely decimated, just like he did right there. As you can see, that results in the totems going down. But we should be able to get this. And look at Scrag with the static field that Sophia throws on him. Just absolutely devastating to the teams. One thing we've been testing, and this is the fourth account that we're testing it, is collecting AFK rewards after the reset with one, which there you go. We get a two chests and a mythic item. So what I was saying as we continue to do our progression here, 6-12, once the server resets, which here it's 8 p.m., um, defeating one stage, so literally one stage per day, and then collecting your AFK rewards right after you defeat that one stage one day. So one day, completing one stage after the server reset is getting Mythic Loot, which now I'm four for four. All four teams got it. So 20-12, Sophia's still carrying it, but look, almost a million damage from Scrag. Not only does he have super high survivability, is he does a ton of damage. He does the stunts, he does the knockbacks, just the, the rework on him was absolutely fabulous. And look at the totems that Nemesis is putting down. They're actually just running around and attacking the totems versus attacking the heroes, which I love that it's programmed that way. Let's check out the damage on this one. We're at... See? I mean, Verk put in a ton of damage. Scrag put in a ton of damage. So as you see, we're getting more of the heroes to the 220 level, um, trying to get them up all 200 plus and the damage is kind of leveling out where before earlier in the campaign Sophia was the main carry every single stage um, it's leveling out a lot more especially with Verk only being mythic level um, once we get a signature item up once we get him to ascend it he is going to be doing a ton more damage which I cannot wait to see so this is 20-24 we're just looking at the boss stages at this point um, if we go through every single stage, the videos are getting super, super long. If there's enough stages to push through the campaign. So I go through and I record it all. Um, we go through and edit it. That way you don't have to watch every single battle. Kind of with the similar, same layouts. But we'll check the damage stats. 2 million there. 811,000 from Scrag. So if you look between the two, Sophia and Scrag are just absolutely dominating. And here Warwick in the bottom, especially versus Savius just gets destroyed one two three hits he's down which leads leaving warwick and savius right to the back line and that's where we have to get warwick more powerful it, it's just hands down he is the next hero that we really do need to focus on at this point so pushing to 20-32 fighting a light bear team here we'll put scrag up top <clears throat> and the reason i did that is when you look at the position, so one, two, three, four, and five on the enemy side, um, position essentially three and four, attack the one on the other side. Um, so making sure that you have your primary tank either in one or two, depending on the opposing hero's team. So even there it was Angelo and I believe, um, was it Admirella? So not gonna do much damage. Angelo doesn't do much damage. And even there, Warwick is uh, attacking the totems. But Shamira got her alt off real early. I think this is going to be a first defeat here. Yep, so that is our first defeat for the Mahler team. But we should be able to get that down. Silvana's always tough to fight. We know she's always going to go on Nemesu, just like she always does, as you can see there. But now with him being ascended, usually between the knockbacks, he can survive it. Unfortunately there, he did not. Warwick goes down, so hopefully Sophia, with her all, takes it out. So very nice victory there. Let's go ahead and look at the damage. 20-34, 1.8 million. 
work. We just got to get up. He, he's definitely going to be the next focus. Is getting work quite a bit higher. He even gets that shield at the beginning. So as long as he doesn't have two or three heroes such as this combination where Arden doesn't do that much damage. Um, Laika was actually on the top target. So we should be able to get this one down. Ah, oh, the charm. An immunity, maybe. We. That's going to be close. Oh, we got it. Sophia with the clutch alt. That's why, especially in those situations, almost 5 million damage. Um, I try to get her alt off as soon as possible. That way she can actually win the battle. Sometimes with her alt, it takes so long to power up that you lose one or two heroes even by the time it's powered up. And look at Scrag, just absolutely diesels through the entire team. Such a very, very cool ability. And he's so tough when he's fighting head to head with people. Over 2 million damage, just like that. So we're in 20-44, so we are just trucking right through Chapter 20, which is absolutely amazing. And look at Scrag again. He's got three targets there and just runs through everybody. For so long, Scrag was fodder for literally Mauler Team, always fodder for Brutus. 1.77, very nice. And the amount of damage that, that he does after his rework is just phenomenal. I mean, even there, he just took a hit from Belinda. Didn't even phase him. Just took an alt. And he finally went down after all of that. Which again, Sophia with her damage, when her alt usually goes off, especially if it's fully charged, just absolutely destroys teams. And even with Savius on him, still, I mean, he, he gets a little bit of a heal from the totem. He gets a little bit of heal from the Elder Tree ability. And just like that, I mean, pretty easy. Yep, two and a half million damage from Sophia. So we are almost done with Chapter 20 on this team, which is absolutely crazy. Considering Chapter 20 is where it actually starts falling off. And Sophia went down quick. I think this is going to be, yep, a defeat. So that is our second defeat. So we have one more. This, we should be able to get this down. The team is not too tough. I think some of it's just the random of where Arden attacks. And right there, Static Field on Scrag. Watch him diesel. Look at the hit points. Just absolutely dominates everybody. And Ira was just busy taking out totems. If you've seen exactly where she was shooting. She was worried about the totems that were kind of sitting up everywhere. And this one's Sylvana, so this is going to be a tough one. Because she hops right over. And we got Static Field up. Which takes out Scrag. Nope, we got it. All right, so that was 2056. So that brings us to 2060. So the very last stage of chapter 20. Very tough team combination. I think I'm going to switch this out because Warwick would just get insta death, where Sophia will not. Hopefully, we got Static Field in the back to take out Arden, which is nice. Shamira is going to be the tough one, though, because she did get her alt off pretty early there. Maybe, maybe Scrag. Come on. Nope. All right, so that will be our final defeat for the team. Twenty sixty. That's pretty much all of entire all of chapter twenty. So very, very cool. Liking the progression they're doing. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you for watching.